This is a quick tutorial on how to download, configure, and use Audacity for editing sermons that you've ripped from the CD. First, go ahead and open your web browser. Do a quick search for Audacity. Go to its website, which is audacity.sourceforge.net. I just find it easier to do a Google search. Once you're there, you'll see right on the home page you can download Audacity 126 or the other one, which is a beta. Go ahead and choose Audacity 126. Click on that. Then in the middle of the page you will see Audacity 126 installer. And click on that. It'll take you to another page. It may automatically pop up, but for me it usually doesn't. So I have to hit, it says please use this direct link. I usually hit the direct link. But whenever it pops up, go ahead and hit run. So done downloading, hit run again. Go ahead and hit next. I accept, next, next. Accept the defaults, accept those defaults as well, and install. Now for the time being, we're going to uncheck launch audacity and hit finish. Now we're going to go back a page to where it had the audacity 126 installer. And you scroll down a little bit under plugins and libraries and you see lame mp3 encoder. Go ahead and click on that, and that'll take you to a page where it has instructions for Windows and Mac OS. Under Windows, it says go to the lame download page. Go ahead and click on that link. Then on the site that it takes you, you'll see this section, which is for Audacity on Windows, and there'll be a link to an .exe file. Go ahead and click on that lame for Audacity link, and hit run. And when it's done downloading, hit run again and step through this accepting the agreement and leave everything default and install finish when you're done and close out of the web browser now double click on the audacity link on your desktop it may or may not ask you uh, what language you want it to open in uh, go ahead and select English unless you speak Finnish or Dutch or you know some other foreign language but English will work when audacity opens go to edit preferences and then on the third tab which is file formats under mp3 export setup hit find library hit yes and where you're going to find the library is under your C drive program files lame for audacity then go ahead and click on the file hit open then set the bitrate to 32 hit OK and Audacity is set up and ready to go. Now the next part, which after that's done, this will be the part you have to do weekly. Open up Windows Media Player, insert your sermon CD, and rip the sermon CD. Make sure that in options that the rip music tab, the format is set to mp3. It should already be set, but just in case it's not, it has to be mp3 for this to work. Once it's ripped to your library, then you should be able to go to Audacity, File, Open, go to My Documents, My Music, Unknown Artist, then Unknown Album, and it'll have the date that you ripped it. Go ahead and open up that MP3 file.
Now when this file opens up, it is going to be a stereo mp3 file at CD quality. And the human voice is mono, and CD quality is overkill also for the human voice. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring this project down to mono and then when we export it to mp3 at that 32 kilobit bitrate that we set before it'll automatically lower the quality um, you can see it stereo because you have the left and right side um, tracks and they're identical to each other so the first thing we can do to convert this to mono is we want to hit the little arrow at the top by the file name come down to split stereo track and now you'll see they're separated go ahead and hit the X on either one of the tracks then on that same drop down you want to tell it mono and now we have a mono file now if you want to edit this you can zoom in using the zoom tool and you can actually select the part you don't want and delete it. So let's play back a little bit of this file by clicking um, somewhere near the beginning and hitting play. Well, I've got some really exciting news for you. The audio actually starts with this part right here. So we're going to take everything before it, click and drag to highlight it, and go edit, delete and it's gone. Now you can also do that on the end of the track by using the bar at the bottom to scrub to the end. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. I want you to stand and I'm just going to close in a song. Alright. After he says amen, we don't need the rest of this, so we can also click and drag to select it, edit, delete. Now, the audio file is not very loud, so in order to make it louder, we're going to go Edit, Select, All, Effect, Amplify, and under Amplification, we're just going to go ahead and put in about three decibels. Now, it won't let you hit OK unless you say Allow Clipping. Go ahead and check Allow Clipping, hit OK and it will automatically amplify the audio file so as that it's louder and much more comfortable so you don't have to turn up your computer speakers real loud uh, to hear it. Once that's done amplifying, you can go to File, Export as MP3, go ahead and give this a name. I usually just delete the track number in front of it and leave the default name then you can save it wherever you like. I'm going to save mine in my music, create a new folder, sermons, and save it in there. And that will export it to an mp3 file that should be less than 10 megabytes that you can then upload on the upload on any podcasting site or church website. And it should stream over a 56K dial-up connection, but still sound almost identical to the original.